it's the cold math lady today we're looking at scientific notation for small numbers we've already done big numbers in fact let's actually review that really quickly and then I'll teach you about small numbers so if you remember big numbers scientific notation is when we use a decimal and a power of 10 to write our number it just makes our life easier instead of writing all these zeros and how we did it is we turned our number into a decimal right we said oh I want to have a whole number and then I want a decimal right after that whole number. So we know that we're gonna have a number that looks like this, 6.2, and now we count how many decimal places we need to shift our decimal to get here. And we did this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our answer was 6.2 times 10 to the eighth. So that's how we do scientific notation for large numbers. Well, we're gonna do it for small numbers, so we're gonna do it in reverse. Here's what I mean. Here's a nice small number, right? Nice long decimal. We have a decimal here, and we wanna get it to a place, we wanna move it so we can get a decimal point or a whole number right in, in the beginning. So we just wanna start with the whole number. Let's move our decimal, how many places to get there? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So let's write the number, five, 0.42 times 10. Now since we went to the right, we got smaller, our exponent has to be negative. 10 to the negative fifth. And that tells us we're getting a tiny number, a small number. We're moving our decimal to the right. Let's try it with this example. Remember, we want to get a decimal, so we go find our where our numbers start besides zero. And I'm say, I'm going to want to put a decimal right after my 2. So my number will look like this, 2.12. And now I count the number of places I'm shifting this decimal to get there. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 10. But the exponent here is negative, 10 to the negative 8. And that's how we get really small numbers. The good news is you also can go in reverse. If someone gives you scientific notation, you can take that and turn it into standard form. So we've got 5.3 times 10 to the negative six. We wanna put the zeros back into this decimal and see what it really is. So we're gonna move our decimal six places to the left, and we're gonna use zeros as placeholders. So I'm gonna write my five, three, knowing I'm gonna move this decimal six places. So let's throw in a few zeros there to get us started. Now let's do it. So from here, here, let's use red so you can see it. From here, we're going one, two, three, four, five, need some more zeros, whoops, <laughs> six. Okay, here we go, where was I? One, two, three, four, five, six. It goes right there, and remember, we always have a zero in front of that decimal as a placeholder. So there is our number for this standard notation. Let's try it again with this. We're gonna write our 781 down. Okay, oops, I'm using a lot of red. Let's try that again. 781, the decimal starts here, but we're gonna move it eight places to the left. I'm gonna throw some zeros in just to get me started, and then we'll catch up and make sure we've done enough. Here we go, eight places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to put my decimal there, boom, and add a zero on the front. That's how you do it in reverse. So you now can go from scientific notation with a negative exponent to standard form and backwards and forwards. Okay, that's it. Try our practice problem so you can do this on your own. I will definitely see you next time. Hope you're having a great one. Bye-bye.